Hello everyone, welcome to Automation Talk channel. Today I'm gonna talk about a very interesting topic which could be a potential problem or an enhancement in the existing testing process in many of the organization. We as a quality person, we put a lot of effort while doing a testing for an application via automation as well as manual uh, testing. However, we usually do not have a single place where we could see the current application health, automation and manual test coverage and the real-time execution report of test cases. To solve this problem, I have developed a simple tool which can be integrated with any of the automation framework. Let's quickly have a look on it. Uh, this is the application. Uh, I named it as TCM Test Case Management. This application I built using Java, Spring Boot, and Bootstrap for the UI. This is the login screen where anyone can log in into the application uh, who have the credentials. So I have already added data uh, for this particular uh, demo. So here we could see different tabs. I'll just uh, 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 walk through all the tabs quickly. So this is the test scenario tab uh, where anyone can add the test cases, what uh, whatever the test case for, uh, you want and can mark them automation and uh, manual. The second tab talks about the test plan. So, uh, so the test plan uh, in this test plan, you can add whatever the test cases you want to execute for uh, for different functionalities okay the next tab is talk talk we talk about the release uh, so here uh, you can create a release tab depending upon what the current release or uh, is you have to uh, evaluate the last tab uh, is the execution tab here the uh, uh, user can create the execution and there are the different parameters uh, which is required for the execution is the project release tag which we have created earlier and the test plan which we have created previously so now uh, let's uh, quickly uh, go through the execution uh, details so here these are the eight test cases which i have uh, uh, already added to this particular release and now uh, uh, we could see that the status for each uh, uh, test case is not run so this means that these are not executed so quickly, uh, uh, if you see that uh, execution type is marked as automation and manual, so anyone can go and execute the test cases. So let's uh, manually execute these manual test cases. So first test case is uh, verify user is able to select uh, a checkbox. So let's make it a pass, mark it manually. So, so now, it, it will show you the history also uh, for the execution. Let's go back. So now the good thing about this is uh, it, when you are done with any of the particular tests uh, case, it will go at the bottom of this tech, uh, of uh, in this stack. The other manual one was uh, test should be skipped. So let's mark it as a skip also. And these all are marked as automation. So let's quickly run with the automation. Let's go. So it's a simple Java Selenium framework, uh, a simple regular one. So I've just executed the complete test suit. It consists of three, four is, uh, is scripts. So as soon as the scripts are running, you see the status are getting updated. So uh, one got passed, two got failed. So now another one got passed. The two is still left for the automation need to be executed. So let's rerun. So now the last one is, so you see the execution, automation execution is done and all the script get executed. So now on seeing this uh, dashboard, we come to know that the two scripts are failing. So let's quickly check. 
so this one verify test should fail so i have uh, uh, deliberately failed it and uh, this one is like verify tab is appearing and disappearing so let's quickly uh, go and check what it is okay so here uh, this reason is coming from the uh, automation like what is the reason why it is failing uh, during our ex uh, automation ex execution sometime our, our scripts fail due to various reasons like uh, network tag net network lag sometime it fails because there is a script issue sometime it fails uh, because there is a product bug so let's quickly check analyze this why this failure is here so it is saying like expected home uh, one but found home so uh, we will go and check uh, the uh, uh, the application so in the disappearing element the application it says that the tab is home not a home one so we go to our script and we have to fix our script because it's a script failure we are saying that it should be home one but actually it's a home so we have just fixed our script after this uh, we need to rerun uh, this particular scenario so let's rerun this particular scenario so we are rerunning this uh, scenario whatever the status whether it will be pass or it will be fail the status will quickly get updated on the uh, ui so it get passed and let's go and refresh uh, it so now when you refresh it you will get the updated status like it get passed also the impo important thing if you see here so every time when uh, any execution happens for any for any particular test uh, uh, case whatever the latest result it will be displayed on this particular dashboard so in this scenario you see there are three status first is not run then fail and pass and also it has been executed by automation user so that's why in the dashboard you will see that it has been executed by automation not the current user channel so this is the application uh, health uh, uh, button so when you click on this button so it will navigate you to the dashboard where uh, one can easily find the application health like how much percentage the test cases are passing how much percentage the test cases are failing and how much is skipped so not run is zero so this means that there are nothing to be run and here below we can found the found the uh, uh, automation coverage like 75 percent is automated and 25 percent is the manual so by which we can easily uh, analyze how much manual effort is going to to give sign off for this particular build okay uh, in the coming demos i will demonstrate uh, like how to create the test scenarios how to create a test plan releases executions and how we can integrate uh, this with this tool with our existing automation framework and also what is the smart analysis feature in this application thank you